run for the Brewers in the first, and we, now we welcome in John Hart, general manager of the Atlanta Braves. Great to have you with us. Uh, you're no stranger to television. Great work at uh, MLB Network, and now you're back on the hot seat. How's it been as general manager once again? Yeah, I, I tell you what, there's a difference after the game uh, when you're uh, when you're in TV. You can sort of just let it go, but uh, <laughs> we're wearing it here every day. Uh, but uh, no, it has been. It's been great. Uh, the Braves. You know, it's a terrific organization. What John and Bobby, uh, John Sherholz, Bobby Cox did and all those years, and uh, you know, obviously we did some things this winter. We had to, you know, if you will, sort of reset uh, a, a number of things with the organization. But um, it, it's been a lot of fun. It has been. Official title is president of baseball operations, and uh, you said reset. One word we haven't heard from your camp is rebuild. And here you guys are a game under 500 the quarter poll you're right there in the picture no doubt. Yeah I, you know I, I think uh, get through there. <laughs> no, I'm not a homer here. I'm not a homer us here. Uh, I, I, listen as we went through it, we we made some tough calls anytime you trade uh, Justin Upton Jason Hayward uh, Evan Gaddis Craig Kimball and you try to do it all within a winter. Uh, you know it's tough to match up uh, what you want to do. We have a new stadium coming in 17. Uh, I think there was a lot of emphasis placed on what we do with our farm system. Younger guys. We've done a lot of work trying to uh, if you will sort of reset that pipeline refill it. But along the way you know we said look we want to be as competitive as we can be. So um, you know that's what we've tried to do. We've added some some nice players in with a grilly and a Johnson in the bullpen and um, you know again uh, you know you look at our starting pitching. We don't have a starter over 24. Uh, it's very young very controllable uh, rotation. I think that's you know that's going to be the you know the, 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 the part that's going to take us out of this thing. You talk about one of those young starters the guy we're seeing today Shelby Miller. You didn't think it was going to be this good did you. Be honest. <laughs> well you know listen when I was uh, I spent a lot of years with the Rangers and uh, you know they've got a little affinity over the years for young Texas pitchers but uh, uh, we, we saw Shelby as, a, as an amateur and loved him as an amateur and when the Cardinals took him I thought it was a great pick and. You know it took him a little time to, to develop but uh, I, you know when we traded for him CJ it's like any time when you get a 23 year old pitcher uh, there there's still some development time some development pieces left to do uh, but you know Shelby is uh, listen this is a guy it's a young guy that, that is, he's mature beyond his years he's really taken ownership of his career uh, he's made some changes he's not a four seam fastball curveball guy he's got to come up with a cutter uses a two seamer works hard. Um, you know I mean all the all the signs were pointing upward when we went to make that move now for you back in this role I asked you this last time I saw you but do you love being competitive again right in television there's not that opportunity to really get too competitive there's so much so much you can control but now the competitive juices kind of get flowing. I mean, you, we saw right there on that ground ball you're wishing that ground ball gets through that Anderton Simmons hits you feel like this is kind of rejuvenated you a little bit as far as being competitive. Yeah uh, listen there's no doubt if you're not competitive uh, you're going to get run over in this business everybody is and uh, so that's uh, I, I think that was as, as much making the decision to jump in there. Um, you know I was competitive in a lot of ways like golf which uh, <laughs> my clubs right now are completely rusted right. out. Wait let me see your left hand. Uh, it's, see, <laughs> he's right he's it's, right. Uh, it's yeah. the glove hand usually OK. Uh, yeah it's a giveaway <laughs> but uh, no I, I listen in all seriousness uh, I mean we hit the ground running it's uh, it's really been tough. Uh, uh, you know I mean having to do some things if you will to sort of back up a little bit you know trade offs guys uh, you know the last day of spring training we traded Craig Kimbrell and that was painful I mean a personally a very painful uh, thing to do but you know again you look professionally what's you know where do we want the organization to be how do we want to get there and uh, you know that that's a part of it and, and obviously once the season starts you you know you're going to live with what you got you're going to. You're going to have the highs and lows as we go along, but th this club has played well. There's a lot of good makeup on this team, um, and, and we've got some young players like this kid, uh, Jace Peterson. We picked him up in the Justin Upton deal. We've given this boy a chance, and I'll tell you, he's, he's a solid player. And you know, we're we're giving these kids a chance to grow and to show us what, if they're going to be a part of it when we get there. Is it all about 2017? I mean, not that you don't want to be competitive, not that you're going to throw in the towel between now and then. But I've said a lot of times on television or written about it where this team wants to be hitting the ground running when you go into that new ballpark. Is that a fair way to kind of describe what's going on here? Yeah I listen I, I think that's uh, 2017 is obviously a piece of it. We provided ourselves a lot of flexibility I think uh, financially that uh, if and when we want to do some things but we certainly didn't want to forget about 15 and 16 as you look up you know as I said we we really worked at uh, you know you bring in a Jim Johnson to Grilly you sign a Mark Kakis. 
Uh, we, we looked at some of the, the extra pieces we brought in, like a Johnny Gomes, A.J. Brzezinski, to go with some of our the, the core youngsters we have with uh, Freeman and Simmons and, you know, Tehran. So, I, you know, we, we are paying attention to what we do in 15 and 16 for sure. A bouncer to Adam Lind, and the Fires is there for him. John Hart, great to have you with us. Thanks for your insights. We wish you the best of luck this year. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, John.